Alright, as we're back, this is Ragnet. And we're playing some Bambi Kazooie. Now, we might be wondering what I'm doing here with the chest. That made some weird noise for some reason. I knew it was on a crate. It's right there. Silly me. So, uh, here's a, a, a showdown with the, the shark. Let's try to... Uh, <laughs> it didn't work. Yeah, snackers. Okay, so now we can get out of here. Safely and all the required stuff. Stop moving, camera. Okay. Grab them. Okay, let's get out of this place. Now, the next world I've got to do is... Possibly my least favorite one. It's called Clanker's Cavern. It's uh, a level in water, so I don't like those. Like much people in the video game industry, but whatever. We gotta do this. So, to open it, you first gotta find the the, the corresponding puzzle to it. We could go up there, but we gotta save that for later. Okay, now the puzzle um, to complete is in the this very room. Now remember when I looked this way, there was a shock spring. Couldn't go up there. Now we can because we unlocked the move. And the puzzle to Clanker's Cavern is right there, so might just... Oh, we didn't... I've learned uh, the Z button. You press Z and you complete the puzzle. Yay! So now we can go in the next room. My worst nemesis. Well, not really. It's not that bad. It's just that there's some tight uh, races not to get killed by drowning. So we're gonna do some stuff there, and uh, I don't. I, I plan la just like Treasure Trove Cove to uh, clear it in two videos. It's up there, actually, the world. Now there's the room with the the, the door to go there. We gotta solve a little puzzle there, but not that much of a deal. You just pound the ground with this switch. That creates uh, this path to the other side, but. See the, the the grid there? Is there some, some way to? Yes, there is. Okay, yeah. I will clear some other puzzles in this room first because uh, there's no monsters in this room yet, and this is easier. Well, there's this bomb, but not that much of a deal, you know. Uh, it's not very quick, and you can always swim under it. So I'm gonna solve all the puzzles there. You go up there. There's Brendelta. It's the the sister of the the baddie. So yeah, there's a quiz at the end of the game with some spaces revealing uh, Grant Delta's disgusting secrets and. They ask you to actually uh, give the, the right answer. And it changes from each game to another. So you gotta be um, on the look for those if you uh, want to succeed in a quiz without losing at all. And uh, relying uh, to luck, actually. So Ranti wears a reinforced girdle under that dress. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, those kind of secrets. And every uh, fairy you find uh, gives you three of those, I think. It's also got this nasty pet dog, Leg Chomper. So you might want to note all of those when you start a new game and uh, in a book or something like that. And just a note. My sister sings in her band, uh, Grunty and the Monster Mob. They're not good, okay. So. Yeah, th those are the secrets we got. So when you we get at this point, I will actually try to get all of those, even if I actually um, usually rely on luck for those questions because I don't care remembering those. 
But I will rely on you guys uh, for something like that, remembering those or something like that. Even if I'm playing it while... Well, way before you're watching it. My filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash, I save my cash. Okay. Wash. <laughs> Uh, so, this is another world we can open right now, it's the fourth one. We're gonna go there after Clanker's Cavern, I'm gonna do them in order. This is called Bubble Loop Swamp, it's one of my favorite of the game and I actually owes my favorite transformation of the game. Okay, so... Hey Bum, I'm there Bum. Hey, hey Bum, hey Bum. Okay, so without any other wait, waiting, wait, waiting. Let's get to Clanker's Cavern. There's actually a world in Benjo Tui called Clinker's Cavern. Well, Clinker's. Th this is a mini game actually. There's a mumble token up there if you dare, if you care to. Dare and care. Two different words, two different meanings. Yay! Okay, so. This world is horrible, you want to do it on one run because it's horrible to get all the notes and things like that. So we got one move to learn, it's in the... It's not there actually. <laughs> I'm gonna save the, the suspense. Those are ladders, you can climb to them. Get on the ramps. Those holes are dangerous. They're dangerous creatures out right there. See? It's gonna pop up. You can kill them though. Disgusting, yeah. Not much of a deal. This is Gold Feather. Love the sounds it makes. Really love it. Another Mumble Token if you care. And there's another Gold Feather. So we get to going all around this place. Be aware of those monsters, they're always on the run. Like not really, but yeah. There's a Jinjo hidden behind the beehive there. Might not want to miss it. Jinjos are also very hard to get all in this one. Very, very hard. Well, considering the, the difficulty curve of the game, of course. Because this world is not that bad for someone like me who knows it all and has played it before. So we were done with this section, a little section. We're now going to the main section of the level. With a giant shark looking at us! I'm Clanker. It's a garbage grinder. Okay, it doesn't like dirty water, he wants fresh air. So we gotta make sure he's, he's getting fresh air. I don't know how, though. We'll try to find this out. Okay, so let's pick up that note and not being silly about things. Oh, come on, Benjo! Okay, yeah, there, there we go. Now I need air myself. I understand you. Also, I gotta show you something with his eyeballs. So funny. <laughs> it looks like a derp. <laughs> derp it up. Derp a derp. He's falling in my ear. Okay, so that's one of the first things you want to do in this level. Uh, give Clanker some fresh air. Why would you say? Because you see there's some notes up there in the sky and... Well, it's not very much sky, but anyways. There's notes there, there's notes. And things going on. But, we can't get them until we have Unchained Clanker, which is probably the hardest challenge in this level. Because you get to go to the deep sea. Well, if we can call that a sea. Uh, we get to go there and actually pass in that key there. Three times. And how would you do that? Well, ah, oh, missed it. You're looking for a fish uh, that that goes around there. It's called Gloop, I think, and it shoots a 
bubbles. I need a bubble. No, give me the bubble. No, no, I'm gonna die. No, the bubble. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, I'm dying, I died, I died. You see, you see, this is what happens in this level. This is the hardest challenge of this level. This is why I hate it so much. And now I gotta start it all over again. Uh, well, not like if I was very far. Still annoying. Okay, so I died. This is what happens when you die. By drowning. Not recommend. I better die throwing myself off a cliff than... This is lame death. This this has to be the lamest death ever. I hate water myself. And what's ironic about this is the the only rides that I can actually take myself are the the water slides. And I hate water. So ironic. Okay, so let's try to do this again, and uh, see what's going on. You don't get anything by killing those, it's just less annoying if you get to go there again. Which is totally not the case uh, there, but it's, uh, it's actually safer. And if you get low on energy and look for it, you might be uh, wanting to to look for them. Okay, he's gonna talk to us again, blah 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 blah, yeah, of course. He's got a, a funny voice, actually. Okay, so let's try this again, and not being silly. You can always do it uh, three shots, like... I think my sisters were, were, were to do it like this. They, they were to pass in the key once, then go up, go back up. They didn't care about the the bubbles which is a good strategy if you're a starter and if you're if you don't d don't uh, maneuver well in the water it's 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 hard to control uh, safely and efficiently like there i got my bubbles and actually you want to get in that pit uh, i'll call this a pit uh not many times like, there's some notes there, there's also, there's also a Jinjo. You wanna get this stuff first, because if you die there, well, by having gotten everything, well, it, it's, mo it's more annoying. Yay, Tankeras Fresh Air. Give me some too, okay. I need some, okay, give me the bubble. Okay, yeah. So, gotta pick some notes. Yay, I beat my, I beat my score. <laughs> was 14 like, ridiculous nice. so let's pick those notes those notes were the only one missing in my original run of it because I wouldn't dare getting him there's the Jinjo there hardest one to get easily and I think I got enough air to get out myself you need three to get out or I think it's two whatever you need not that much to get out yeah, it was. It's definitely two, but take it when, when three gets two. So now uh, to get on this very, very dig disgusting uh, park or garbage camp, whatever. Get the notes. You just get on the wings, or you can get on him uh, by his nose. There, when it sinks in the water. And watch his eyeballs. That's pretty funny, actually. That's a good touch. Okay, there's... I didn't want to do that, actually. <laughs> okay, there's a... Oh! Well, while we're, there, while we're there... These, we're gonna ground pound to get some. Actually, let's get that jiggy right there. So, there was a cut, so don't be cut. Actually, you want to watch the ground for those little uh, cuts in the ground 
Ouch. That hurt. Anyways, there was a Jiggy there. We didn't get that much Jiggy right there. It's my first uh, of the stage. Not that much. At any rate, we're gonna end it there. And next time we'll get to see inside Clankers. So this is Ryan signing out. And we'll be back shortly. See ya.